Hey, you. Don't you know it's forbidden to run around outside the town? Are you part of the town guard? That's right. I'm guarding the gate so no one can leave. Shouldn't you stand inside then? Well, I also have to stop people coming in. What if I want to get in? I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Or would you rather go to the monastery? What are things like in the town? Used to be good, but since Don Esteban left, Inquisition's in charge now. Brought the farmers into town, then sealed the gates. That's the Inquisitor's new law. And Commandant Carlos has everyone who violates the law taken to the monastery. What can you tell me about Commandant Carlos? He's the new boss. He and his warriors of the Order try to keep law and order. They try? Well, the Don's men don't let them have it all their own way, right? Things are quiet now, but that could change any time. Tell me about Don Esteban. Great man, great man. Most people probably think he ran away from the Inquisition, but that's not true. No? No. He set up camp in the swamp to take gold out of the ruins himself. That's what this is all about. Gold. He left a couple of his men here to carry on his business while he gets his share. What's going on in the monastery? They say they do training. But everyone knows they enchant people up there. Enchant them? A couple of the boys they took her back in town. Before, they didn't take the law seriously. Now they blindly follow the Inquisitor. If that's not enchantment, you explain it. Maybe they're weak-minded. That's what you say. But I'm telling you, the Inquisitor has ways to make you obey. And once you enter the monastery, you're at his mercy. So the town has divided loyalties. You live here, you've got to choose. Stay loyal to the Don, to our people, or help the swanky bastards from the mainland. Of course, you can just keep your head down, try and keep out of trouble. Trouble finds people. If you say so. I just follow orders, mate. But trust me, you don't want to side with the order. You want to help the Don. Can you tell me how to get to the monastery? You see the path back there that leads along the cliff? Just keep following that path and bear slightly to the right. The path will lead up the mountain to the monastery. Thanks. And you work for the Don? Me? No. I'm part of the town guard. And all citizens must do what Commandant Carlos says. And you don't like that? You can't cut deals with the warriors of the Order. The Don's men were always open to a good deal. You mean you could buy them off? Call it what you want. A deal is a deal. And everyone was happy. How much to let me in? Hundred gold coins. But you can't come and go as you like. Once you're in, you're in. You're asking for a lot of gold. Be glad I don't take twice as much to save you from the monastery. But I'm not an asshole. I'm willing to haggle. If you don't have enough gold, you can trade things instead. Let's trade. Just let me in. I'll let you in, provided you have the gold. Here's your gold. All right, but not a word to anyone about our little deal. 
Otherwise, we'll both wind up in the monastery. Are you going to let me in? Well, you want to go in uninformed, that's up to you. But here, at least take a town map. Good luck. You'll need it. Hello, farmer. Hello, stranger. What is it you're doing here? I'm one of the lucky ones. The merchant comrade pays me to watch his cows. The others haven't been so lucky. But such is the law of the Inquisitor. In the town you'll be safe, they said. Safe, maybe. Safe and starving. You must have someone else to talk to. Yeah, get out of here! Ah! You lost your mind! <laughs> Just let me sleep. Spare a coin for a poor farmer. We have nothing to eat. My wife Martha is sick. Here, 25 gold pieces. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Good luck, and don't give up hope. I won't. Thank you. Can I help you? Are you a healer? My wife is so sick, I fear the worst. What's wrong with her? She's feverish. I blame these cursed bloody ruins. Why? How did they make her ill? They came out of the ground right next to my damn farm. Next day, Martha caught this fever, and she's got sicker since then. I don't know what to do. Her only hope is Master Belshaw. Who is Master Belshaw? A mage from the monastery. He spends his time at the Shrine of the Flame, back in the gutters. He cares about poor farmers like us. No one else does. I have other things to do. You're new here, right? Leto let you in, huh? Yes. I'm from outside. You're breaking the Inquisitor's new laws. You know that. You should be more careful. You tell the wrong people, you can get yourself in trouble. Too risky. You've had trouble with the law. Ha! The law is just an excuse to lock us all in the town. The Order wants to loot the ruins in peace. Once they've taken the last crumb of gold out of the ruins, they'll let us out again. Don Esteban figured that out right away. Why are you in the town and not in the swamp? Simple. The Don doesn't let go of things that belong to him. Some of us are keeping business going here, until the Inquisition move on. What business do you do? Anything that brings gold. Gold's the only way we can challenge the Order and the Warriors, isn't it? Taking the town back is what it's all about. We control the town, we control the island. For now, though, the Inquisitor and Commandant Carlos are in charge. So watch your step. All right. What's the Order doing about the Don's men? They stop us where they can. Since they came here with their fancy white uniforms, they've never taken their eyes off us. They're just waiting for us to step out of line. Then they'll take us to the monastery. Keep your eye out for Sebastian. He's always around, watching. Tell me about Commandant Carlos. He's the Inquisitor's watchdog. His headquarters is in the guardhouse. He sits up there controlling everyone's lives. But it's only a matter of time before he pisses enough people off. 
Sounds like you could use some help. We could. I have to scrape together a lot of gold for the Don. If I don't send him something soon, if I don't get some gold in, I'll have problems with my own boys. If you help me, I can cut you in for a slice. What are you offering if I do help you? Well, I'll give you gold. And I can teach you a few things too. Give a man a fish, and he'll stink for a day. Give him a rod. You want to teach me to fish? In a manner of speaking. Fish for gold. I can make a pickpocket out of you. Word to the wise. You should look to the Don. Join him before you get swallowed and pissed out by the order. What can I do? Hmm. Costa the pawnbroker's doing good business here in the gutters. He's preying on the farmers and stuffing his pockets with gold. So, what do you need doing? Since the order has been here, he hasn't paid his dues to the Don. Hired himself a bodyguard he has and he pays the Inquisition's taxes. What about the Don's taxes, eh? Where's our slice? Someone needs to make sure we get paid. I'll get your gold. Good. It's time we showed him we're still in charge in the gutters. But it won't be easy. Costa won't pay voluntarily. At least, not now he's got himself a bodyguard. How much does Costa owe? He's caused a lot of trouble. I'd say he owes 300 gold coins for that alone. You can keep half. How should I get the gold from him? I really don't care. If you give him a beating, you can probably just take it. But don't kill him. No point killing the Golden Goose. And it will get the Inquisition on our backs. But teaching his bodyguard a lesson wouldn't hurt. Is there any advice you can give me? If you just cut loose on Costa, you'll have to take care of him and his bodyguard at the same time. It'd be better to deal with them one by one. Try to provoke them, one at a time. They start the fight, then no one will interfere. You start the fight, you'll have problems with the guards. Wait, I saw you talking to Delgado. Do you deny it? No. And who are you? I am Sebastian, a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. And you want to be careful who you get involved with. What do you know about Delgado? He is one of Don Esteban's men. Ruthless, the lot of them. They steal, lie, and extort. Steer clear of them. What are you doing about the Don's people? Inside the town, cornering them like rats in a burrow. Outside the town, the Inquisitor is slowly choking them, starving them of men, of gold, of food. Commandant Carlos will see the town is cleared of the Don's influence, and those left in the swamp will just wither and die. We'll finish Delgado, and the Don will follow. Why don't you just throw the Don's men out of the town? We've tried. They get back in. We don't know where or how, so now we'll use that. Finish them where they stand. You'd better decide whose side you're on. You want to be a rat or a rat catcher? What's in it for me if I help? It will stand you in good stead if you'd like to go to the monastery. Our commander appreciates help, and the monastery can train you as a mage or as a warrior of the order. It would be your choice. And, of course, you will receive a reward. 
How high is the reward for Delgado? 100 gold pieces. How can I help you? I need to know what Delgado is planning. He's careful. He knows I'm following him, but he is up to something. Since you have spoken to him, maybe you can find out for me, and we can block up another of the Don's rat holes. Delgado wants to extort protection money from the pawnbroker Costa. And he needs you to do it for him, am I right? That's it. Apparently Costa's ripping off farmers, and the Don's men want some of the spoils. Yes, I had a bad feeling about Costa for a while. Delgado is desperate for gold. Without it, his own people will hang him out to dry. Then this is the chance I've been waiting for. Will you help me to deal with Delgado? What do you want me to do? Pretend to work for Delgado and get the gold from Costa. But instead of giving it to him, give it to me. I will make sure it gets back to the proper owners. And if Delgado doesn't get Costa's gold? We'll have caused a big internal row within the Don's men. Hey, do you work here? Sure do. If you're looking for somewhere to kip, just go upstairs. Pay Costa after. Isn't it a bit odd to pay afterwards? Don't ask me. I don't bring the business, I just bring the muscle. Why is muscle needed? Costa doesn't want trouble. Trouble with whom? Guests looking for a free kip, or anyone who wants to play silly buggers. So, you're paid muscle? Better than an unpaid muscle. You work for Costa? Yeah, gotta get gold where you can. Not much to be had down at the arbor. No ships means no work. Come on then. I could do with a bit of combat practice. You what? You wanna fight me? Here? Yeah. Let's go. Sure. Why not? Don't have anything better to do. Let's get this over with! Yeah! Do me a favour, mate, and don't let Costa know you can fight like that, or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him, or are we going to have another problem? No. I might be paid for muscle, but that doesn't mean I don't have a brain. What do you want here? I could ask you the same thing. I sleep here. Nothing wrong with that, is there, mate? What do you do? I, um, work for the fishmonger. Is that so? Honest. I pick up the fish and take them out to sell them. You don't look busy. Well, storms mean no fishing, and nobody's got much to spend. If I sleep here, you'd better not steal from me. Mate, trust me. I don't do things like that. Well, let's keep it that way. I don't know who you are, mate, but I promise you're safe here. What do you think of the Inquisition? They protect us. I can't complain about that. And once they've done what they have to, everything will be like it used to be. I'm Costa. Welcome to my little part of the island. If there's anything you need, anything at all, I can get it. Usually. What do you sell? Weapons, 
potions, jewellery, scrolls. If you need it, hell, I can even get you a bed. Anywhere around here I can sleep? It's not a good idea to spend the night in just any old bed. That's asking for trouble. But I have a couple of beds on the upper floor. I don't ask much. Just 30 gold coins. They're safe, peaceful, and you won't wake up with lice in your hair. Where do you get your wares? Since there's nothing coming into town, I sell stuff we still got inside. Like what? Times are tough. People gotta find a way to get by. Quite a few folks want to sell their possessions for some solid coin in their hands. So you prey on people's poverty? Hey, no one's forcing them to sell their stuff. If they wish to trade their family heirlooms for a hot meal, I'm the man who helps them. I'm a charitable man, just like Bill Shaw. They'd be sleeping in the gutter without me. I'll take a bed. Tell you what, you've got an honest face. Bit grubby, but honest. You can pick out a bed whenever you like. Your goods are much too expensive. If you haven't got the gold, then stop hassling me. I can't stand beggars. I got the gold from Costa. That will calm a lot of nerves. Nothing like a golden gleam to make people relax, eh? Here's your share. I'll tell Scordo what you did for us. Tell me about Scordo. I shouldn't really have mentioned his name. Best not to ask too many questions. That means he's the Don's man here. Where can I find him? Clever one, aren't you? You can't find him. He's in hiding. He'll find you when the time comes. And not another word about him. Neither you nor I know that name. Got it? What do we do now? If you want more work here, you can try to collect from Josh. Not that profitable. But you have to take what you can get. Besides that, keep your ears open. You're bound to pick up on some opportunities. What can you teach me? I keep my word. If you want, I'll teach you to be a good thief. I want to be a better thief. You must have other business to attend to. Did you want something? Please. Take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a look at everything I offer. That's a lot of different wares for a merchant. I'm not a merchant. I'm a farmer. Was, till the ruins came. Lost my farm. You look like another refugee. Word to the wise, stay away from Costa. Costa? Who's Costa? He's a swindler. After everything people have lost, he's trying to take the rest. He forces people to sell their goods for less than they're worth, then resells them. Help another refugee, will you? Have a look at my goods, not the stuff he's pushing. Why don't you sell your goods somewhere else? We're not allowed. They won't let us into the merchant's district. The Inquisition talks about law, keeps us here, then lets these scoundrels run things. We don't have enough gold to buy the goods the merchants offer. So the white robes chase us off. For a lot of us, the only thing left is Costa. He's the only one who'll buy. What can you tell me about the town? Well, there are three districts. The gutters here, 
That's the street above the harbour. Farther down by the water is the harbour district. That stretches from the lighthouse to the warehouses and the prison at the end of the quay. The rich bastards live in the merchants district. That's where the main gate of the town is. Tell me about the merchant district. If you're looking for goods and have enough gold, there's a lot of merchants around the square at the main gate. But try here first, yeah? If we refugees don't support each other, who else will? Tell me about the harbour. They say the gutters isn't reputable. Go down there, you get drunk sailors, a tavern and a brothel. People aren't as willing to spend gold as they used to. With the storms, the sailors are stuck here and bored. But if you're looking for pleasure, that's the place for you. You find a lot of stranded fishermen and workers at the warehouses. One of the buildings was confiscated by the order. Don't know what they're storing there. Anything else? Well, the order seized the old harbour master's office and set up a slaughterhouse there. If you have enough gold, you can buy meat. With gold and meat, you'll also find guards. Tell me about the gutters. The gutters are everything above the harbour. Home to the unlucky, unloved. Farmers and refugees. Master Belshaw has set up a soup kitchen at the end of the road. He's a mage from the monastery, one of the order. But at least he's looking after us. And there's Flavio, a merchant. He has his business at the end of the gutters, next to the shrine. And if you want a beer, go to Josh. He has a small tavern here. Let me see your goods. Let's trade. You should get some training. Hey, wait a minute. Don't walk by. Try the best fish in town. This is your lucky day, because I have one perfect Piscine offer for you. You do. Buy one fish and... Get a second fish completely free. Two fish for the price of one. Sounds like a good deal. What sort of fish do you have? Everything the sea can provide. Herring just caught and placed so fresh it doesn't even know it's dead yet. Is that all? No. I also have shark. A nice shark steak will revive the weariest spirit. And you look like you could do with that. You're pretty talky for someone who sells fish. Well, I figure the longer I keep someone talking, the more chance they have of buying some fish. I never should have bought this lousy fishmongers. I was with this wench. She said she liked fish, and then... Oh, before you know it, I've bought this thing. I mean, I don't know my herring from my halibut. And with the storms, there aren't even many fish being caught. Why don't you sell the store, then? Do you want it? Why would I want a fish stall? See? That's what I should have said to myself. But that wench was so very beautiful. Is there anything I could do to help? Well, you could find someone who wants to buy this stall. Ideally, someone who knows about fish. How much do you want to sell your stall for? Hmm. 
Well, including all the goods, let's say 300 gold pieces. I'll find you a buyer for your stall. Wonderful! Might be handy if you look for someone who is drunk, or crazy, or loves fish. I'll keep that in mind. I have faith in you, my friend. Here, have a shark steak on the house. Where do you think I can find a buyer? If I knew, I'd have asked them myself. Maybe the harbour? The tavern? You could ask the fishermen. At least they'd know about fish. Show me your fish. You actually want to buy some? Well, don't forget, it's two for one. Let me have some place. Here, two place. Give me a shark steak. Here, one steak, and another for the road. I want a herring. Good choice, I think. Two herring for you. I hear there's a fur shop for sale. Would you be interested? Fur shop? I'm not buying another stall. I'll be happy if I never sell another thing. Know any hermits? I think I'd make a good one of those. Hey. Hello, I'm Finn. You don't happen to have any work to offer? No, I don't. Drat! I've combed every corner of this place. This town is a mess. There are so many people here now, and they all want jobs. Even Flavio can't give me work. What sort of work do you do? Anything, anything. What can you tell me about Flavio? People say Belshaw is the only man doing something for the farmers. But Flavio has given work to lots of people. Has. But that's changed. Yeah, the warehouse is empty, and he had to get rid of most of us. Do you want to buy a fish stall? No thanks, I'm a farmer. What I know about fish, you could write on the side of a sprat. Someone in the harbour might be interested, though. You look like you're from the monastery. Yes. I am Novice Yu. I assist Master Belshaw. What exactly happens up there, at the monastery? Normally, the monastery is a place of peace and knowledge. But now the Inquisition has taken up residence, it has become a place to train recruits. Tell me more about this town. There is unrest. Many do not accept the Inquisitor's word or the reality of what is happening. If the Inquisitor had captured the Don, everything would be different. But instead, people complain, even as we seek to save them. Why do they complain? Don Esteban and his gang still have great influence. They seek to discredit the Inquisition for their own ends. Many believe the Don will take control as soon as the Inquisitor is gone, so only a few are willing to defy the Don, lest they pay the price later. How do they decide if someone becomes a recruit or a novice? Most take the path of the recruit. They are trained to become a warrior of the order. This requires them to learn the high art of staff fighting and the basic principles of magic. To tread the path of magic, you must prove yourself to the order. Then you may be given the choice to become a novice. As a novice, you learn staff fighting, but only enough to defend oneself. After that, you focus on real study, the art of the mage. If you wish to become a novice, then you should spend time with Master Belshaw. What do you make of the Inquisitor? He may be disliked by some, but he is the only one who can help us in these times. He will avert the threat of the Risen Temples and restore order. While he performs his tasks up in the monastery, he is reliant on us, upon his representative, Commandant Carlos, to maintain control here. Tell me more about Commandant Carlos. He is a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. He spends most of his time in the guardhouse, but his warriors are ever vigilant. 
maintaining peace in the town, which cannot be said of the old town guard. What's wrong with the old town guard? In the days before the Inquisitor arrived, they were responsible for keeping order on the streets. Don Esteban had them under his thumb. They did what they pleased here. They would do anything for gold and pleasure, and still would if given the chance. But now the Order is in charge here. Alas, I fear, some of them care too little for the people. How did you become a novice? I volunteered. Master Belshaw said I have what it takes, and gave me his blessing. After I convinced Commandant Carlos of my worth, I was allowed to go to the monastery to begin training. One day, I will be a powerful mage, a master of the Order. Why are you so fond of the Inquisition? These are dark days, and in such times we must look to unlikely sources to aid us. Inquisitor Mendoza is our greatest hope. After somewhere peaceful. I'm cold, by the way. Is this a place of prayer? This is the Shrine of the Holy Flame, a place of calm in a violent, lawless world. And you're here to pray? Yes. I pray that this will all be over and I can go back to being a hunter. You're a hunter? I am. Well, I was. What happened? Since the temples rose, no one's allowed outside the town because of the creatures. I was lucky the Inquisition didn't take me to the monastery. And what happened to your boat? I pawned it to Costa, fed me for a week. And to think I could provide for the whole town with it once. Now not even Flavio has work for me. All I have left is Master Belshaw's stew. Can you teach me anything about hunting? I could, but if you're thinking of going on an expedition, there's nothing here in the town to hunt. Could you teach me archery? That I can show you. Tell me about the flame. I'm a hunter. I don't know much about holy things. Just tell me what you know. It's... the flame protects us. All of us. Understand? It protects the whole island. It's where the mages get their magic. They say while it burns, there is hope that the storms don't come to this island because of it. Whatever it is, the flame protects us. Can you teach me about hunting? Let's trade. I don't feel like talking. Here, I brought you your bow. You got it back for me. Why did you do that? A hunter needs a bow. Take it. Thank you. But there's nothing I can... I have nothing. It's all right. May the holy flame light your way, stranger. Are you looking for a spot of warm fire? Or some stew to salve your hunger? You're a mage. I am that. I am Master Belshaw, 
a guardian of the Holy Flame, ordained into the Convocation of Mages. What is it you do in the town? I help those who are unable to help themselves. For now, that means providing food, shelter, other necessities. Why don't you help me? What can I do for you? Help me to care for the people. There are those who are sick and injured. They are in need of healing potions. What is the Holy Flame? In the monastery at the foot of the volcano, there's a holy place. It's one of the last true treasures of this world. The Hall of the Holy Flame. It's the source of our power, a well of magic. We must do all we can to protect it from the looming danger. What can you do with magic? It has many uses. There are spells which harm and spells which heal, and those that light your path in the darkness. With no study at all, you could cast from a scroll. Those scrolls can be used but once, whereas an artifact with magic bound into it can last an age. But to create such items, or use magic without the need of them, for that you must become a mage. How can I become a mage? Hmm. You need a firm will and much patience to be chosen. As a mage, you would bear great responsibility. Are you fit for such a role? I don't know. A good answer. Quick to learn, quick to forget is what I say. Think then and find your path. But dedication, not speed, is required for study. If you can show dedication to the Holy Flame, then I would see you as more fit for training. Right. I can distribute those healing potions for you. Good, good. Thank you. I have seven potions prepared. I will give you a list with the names of the needy here in the gutters. Consider the remaining potions payment for your work. I could use some stew. Here. May it grant you strength. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. I am Flavio the Merchant. Hello, Flavio the Merchant. I bet you're looking for work. I can't give you any. You'll have to try somewhere else. What do you sell here? Hunting trophies. Skins, claws and teeth are my business. I pay for good catches. I'll even provide you with new arrows. Well, I used to. You don't have any work to offer? Since the town gates have been closed, my hunters can't get out. So there is no more hunting, no hunting, no catch, no gold. We all just have to tighten our belts. Do you have any jobs that can be done in the town? Uh, well, there's one thing. We all could really use a delivery of meat. Where does it need to go? Master Belcho needs it. You just have to get the meat from the slaughterhouse. I've already talked to Baxter down there, but he wants ten skins before he'll hand over any meat. So you want me to find these skins? If you manage that, then at least we'll have some meat. Don't you have any skins? After all, you deal in them. No, my stores are empty. The Don's men have helped themselves too many times. My boys, Pavel or Cole, might have a lead. Maybe they know something. Where can I find Baxter? In the slaughterhouse at the harbor. He runs the meat trade here. He's quite a jovial fellow, but he takes his job very seriously. What's in it for me, if I come up with the skins? You want to be paid for your work. I don't have much. I can offer a few arrows, and you'll make some friends. Okay. I'll find these skins for you. Thanks. Five boar skins and five wolf skins. And take them to Baxter. Once you have the meat, take that to Master Belshaw. I need a few things. Hey. What do you want? I haven't done anything. That's quite a guilty conscience. No. I just... I thought, um... Thought what? That you were one of the people who doesn't want us outsiders here. 
They say we're thieves, but we aren't. The Don's rabble are the thieves. Where are you from? All over. I'm a hunter, or was before the Order locked me up here in this town. You don't sound terribly happy. Of course. If they're going to lock everyone up here, they should look after us. Instead, they treat us like criminals. But the Order just leaves us here, leaves us to our fate. So, are there thieves in the town? Oh, yes. They take everything that's not nailed down. They cleaned out all the skins in Flavio's storehouse. And the worst thing is that the rebels get away with it. No, I hate it here. I can't wait to get out. Do you know where I can get some skins? I don't have any. I can't get any either. But some citizens have decorated their houses with skins. Just saying, in case you wanted any. Yeah, that'd be stealing though. Well, there aren't a lot of wolves and boars to hunt in town. And if you haven't brought any skins with you, all you can do is check with the merchants. Oh, and the slaughterhouse might have some left. Do you know any good jokes? You think now's the time for jokes? Maybe. Most people could do with cheering up. You hear the one about the Geiger and the treasure seeker? Yeah, sorry. I've heard that one. There's a face I don't recognize. Don't go wandering outside the gutters if you want to stay safe. You're a town guard. Damn right, so that means around here, the law is what I say it is. Stay in the gutters and stay out of trouble. Can you train me? Sure. I could do with a bit of amusement. It'll cost you, though. Why are there only a few guards about? We are the town's first line of defense. So we were the first people sent to those ruins when they sprang up. Most didn't come back. Or if they did, they were in bad shape. That was before Mendoza and his Inquisition turned up. Now it's his men that go into those ruins. And let me tell you, that's fine by me. I want to improve my fighting skills. Hey, new in town. Gold burning a hole in your pocket? In the market for a valuable artifact? Yeah, of course you are. And lucky you ran into me, because I got the very thing. Who are you? Name's Dirk. I'm an acquirer of rare and valuable items. A treasure seeker, just like my brothers. Runs in the family, you could say. So you don't work alone? Alf, Dider. And little old me. Triplets. 
Triplets, thanks for the warning. So you trade artifacts then? Not much getting in and out of Harbor Town. People gotta make a living any way they can. Most of those ways. Well, you wouldn't write home to your ma about them. I'll self looking for work until things pick up. I just want to get back to the ruins again. Good place for treasure seekers. So, you and your brothers are traveling separately? Easier to find work that way. Although I've not seen Dider for days. I heard rumors Ulf was being held prisoner in the merchant's district. No idea if that's true. He don't seem too bothered. Well, if it is true, he can handle himself. Toughest of the three of us he is. I'll see if I can help Ulf. He can handle himself. But if you're going that direction, then I suppose it couldn't hurt. What sort of artifact are you selling? Some kind of large golden bowl. You need something golden bowl shaped? This'll be perfect. And it's yours for just 150 gold. A customer! Welcome! What can I get you? I have a healing potion for you from Master Belshaw. Thank you! What's the worst sort of customer you get in here? Hey, I love them all! But the ones that just come to fight, I could do without. Yeah, of course. A drink? Of course! I'm Delgado's replacement. Oh, that's good. Have a beer on the house. That'd go damn well. Here you are. Now, anything else? I wanted to get the gold. The gold you gave Delgado. Oh, so that's it. What's it? If you really want it, uh, of course you'll get your gold. A hundred gold coins, as always... Sounds like there's a but coming. Of course, you wouldn't know, but... Delgado and I had an agreement. Go on. Well, I paid my debts in kind, so to speak. What do you mean? I kept my ears open and told Delgado where there were things to be had. In return, I didn't have to pay. He also got free drinks, of course. I'm not interested in your agreement. You want the gold. I don't have a choice then. An outrageous blind robbery. Here, a hundred gold pieces. Oh, no. Oh, that was my last lockpick. Master Belshaw wants me to hand out some healing potions. The people here need help. There are many sick and injured. But how do I find the people who need healing? Belshaw gave you a list of those to be treated, didn't he? Yes. Those people will be here in the gutters. Most live on the street.
Do you know where I can get skins? Skins? It's hard to get much of anything in town, but I hear Baxter swaps his meat for skins, if you have enough. That's why I'm here. Do you have skins? I still have one. You can have it. Thanks. How can I get hold of more? Haven't a clue. Parvel might, though. He is, uh, well, was a hunter, too. In good times, we were never short of skins. Here is a healing potion for you, with greetings from Belshaw. Ah, thank you. The Order does try to provide for us. It's sometimes easy to forget that. This lock is too difficult. Don't you have some place to be? I have a healing potion for you, from Master Belshaw. Thank you. I can use this. Hello, Anson. I haven't seen you around here before. I'm new. How did you manage to get into Harbour Town? Not much goes in or out these days. Well, not in town anyway. I looked for a way, and I found one. A resourceful, eh? I like that in a man. Glad to hear it. So, what do you do around here? I'm Sid's better half. He's one of the Don's men. Is he now? Now don't go thinking he's any old ruffian. My Sid is smart, strong, and he knows what a girl wants. Which is? Well, a little material appreciation, of course. Why, what were you thinking? My Sid knows. Why, just the other day, my Siddy gave me a beautiful ring. It was fit for the Inquisitor, it was. Can I see the ring Sid gave you? Nah! You might chop off my hand to get to it, I know your sort. Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know, handsome? Sid, he's a decent man. Can't look after himself, mind, but what man can? I cook and I clean for him and keep him happy. He's not much of a talker, but who needs talk with his abilities? Got real stamina, my Siddy. And he brings me lots of presents. Go on. I mean, you can see I'm a lady who likes the finer things in life. A town girl has a duty to look good. Not like those peasants who've come into town. No style, no class. I can see you're a woman of great taste. You know what I mean. I can see you're a man that appreciates the finer things in life. Most men around here just care where their next beer is coming from or how fast your dress hits the floor. It's been a pleasure talking to you. There's plenty of others with gossip. Try them. I want to be a better thief. Master Belshaw told me to bring you this potion. Thank you. Finally a chance for Martha. But healing potions alone won't be enough. I have to get my wife off the street. It's killing her. She needs somewhere to stay. Shelter. I'll find a bed. Some shelter for your wife. If you could do that, it'd be wonderful. Please, do your best, please. Just let me sleep. I need to find clean lodgings for a sick woman, a farmer's wife. What does that have to do with me? 
I'll pay for her bed. Well, that's a different matter. If there's coin in it, then come one, come all. How generous of you. Good news. I've arranged for your wife to stay at Costa's. Really? Thank you. Thank you. No one has ever done anything for us before. You're a good man and should be rewarded. We don't have much, but we have to give you something. Thank you, stranger. Perhaps the darkness will spare you. What is this darkness you're talking about? The darkness that will eat the world. Perhaps it is better to die now. Take this. May it bring you comfort. I'm supposed to give you this healing potion from Master Belshaw. Ah, oh, thank you. Refugees stick together, eh? I'm sure you've got things to do. Bad lodgings for Martha, the farmer's wife. You are a good man. If only all the people in this town were as considerate. Here, I have something for you. May the holy flame light your way. I've given healing potions to everyone on your list. Thank you, thank you. May the holy flame protect you. Perhaps you are suited to be a novice. In any case, you have my blessing. I will tell Carlos about your good work. He'll summon you when he has time. Carry out the tasks he charges you with. Convince him of your commitment, and he will take you to the monastery so you may study magic. He'll also provide you with a pass. Without his word, if you venture outside of the town walls, you'll be arrested by the warriors of the Order. I see. Is there anything else I can do for you? Not for the moment. Perhaps later. All right.